In one of the tutorials, um, we had to decide to delete our GNOME transparent terminal. So I'm gonna show you how you get it back. There is a script here available. Let's maybe work without it. So you see that as well. It says here, install GNOME terminal transparency. So with any software, you should know the name. So GNOME terminal transparency, that's the name and opening a terminal so this is not a transparent gnome terminal in colors you don't have this slider to become transparent so you can go to sudo pacman minus s and then gnome terminal and then tap and that's it but this is what we have so we have the gnome terminal so that will not help us. We should use Packer or Yaourt, which is written like this, Y-A-O-U-R-T. One of those, but I prefer to use Packer. And then GNOME, if you don't know it, normally you don't know the name, GNOME Transparent. And then you try to look and see what, what's, what's possible, what are what's available. And with Transparent, it will not work. With transparency it will pop out of there and it is number one GNOME thermal transparency so all I do is figure out what software I need copy paste the name copy paste the name put it in package paste and that's it save and all the rest is the same all these scripts are just checking if it's already installed just give the message you made an error huh? you already installed it otherwise use packer if packer is not installed use packauer if not installed use yogurt that's it so the, the scripts are no magic um, but um, you can skip all these script, scripts close without saving you can just click number one like so and then, of course, my script makes it easier, so you will not get a confirmation. Yes, you have to confirm. You won't get this either. It's interesting to take a look. So it's um, Peter Weber that has made this, but there are contributors. And the package version is this, the release is one. Where are we going to get it? We're going to download it here. The package name is a variable. It's coming from here. So this is this here. And the package version is going to be copy pasted inside and there. So the URL, the, the resource where it's coming from, is then completed with these variables. A checksum to see if it's correct, and it's going to be copy and installed, built, prepare, built on the system. Do we have to change things? Normally, no. So Control X, get out of it, and let the thing do its work. It's quite a long installation, so I'm gonna skip till the end with my tutorial. In the meantime, it's finished. Let's go full screen again. So, finished making GNOME Terminal Transparency. Do you want to install it? Yes. Otherwise, I don't have a terminal anymore. It says it's gonna conflict. Yes, remove it. Yes, I want to remove it. So, the one that's remaining is the transparent one. And let's get rid of this one because this is the old one right mouse click open terminal and we're happy again since we have now this transparent one again as you see here and that concludes this tutorial